so guys today we are going to design a deck of cards i'm excited for this hope you are too and let's first decide the elements that are to be present in the object object model and in the deck of cards the first thing that comes in mind is deck deck in deck of cards there is one deck this is one object we need to make a class out of it and in one object there are lots of cards in fact to be precise there are 54 cards one deck will have multiple cards and let's think of what makes a card a card has two properties that define it one is face value and this face value can be from is 2 3 to the numeric 10 and we have j q and k these are the face values and the other property that defines a card to be a unique one is suit there are four types of suits one is spade spade the other is heart the other is club the other is diamond a face a card is defined by face value and suit value let's construct a class out of it let's first construct a card class we are going to make the card class as abstract it will be an abstract class because we don't know the value that the card holds because if the game is blackjack then the card value might be different uh, for instance in the blackjack the jqk value is all constant 10 and is can be 1 or 11 and other games they might have different values that's why we are going to make it an abstract class and other games they might extend this uh, this card extend this class and customize it it is going to have a integer face value and a enum of suit okay and this suit will be a enum and that enum will have four values numeric 0 1 2 3 they will each pre represent if this is club if it's diamond spade or heart this number will represent the inner value I, i'm going to show you the code example for this let's first design the class this class will also return a boolean of a function we are going to name that function is available which is going to return a boolean if that card is present in the deck or not if this card has been drawn out then we are going to uh, return this card's value as false if the card is in the still in the deck then it will be true now let's see the deck class now let's design the deck deck class the deck class is going to is going to have the lists of array lists of cards there will be 54 cards inside this and we are also going to uh, keep track of dealt index it is a integer which is going to be zero at first and we are gradually going to increase it uh, because we want to get the index of the cards uh, that is to be drawn off hope it makes sense and this deck card also will have the methods such as shuffle which is going to shuffle the list of cards inside the deck and it will also uh, give us the value of remaining remaining cards by calculating the dealt index by its length and one other thing that needs to be considered is the hands because there are there will be lots of players and those players will also need to keep track of the cards that they hold and for that we are going to construct a class called hands and it will be consisting of list of cards as well like deck 
but uh, it will also keep track of scores that the the players is having the current player player is having on regard to the game that they are playing let's see the code example of this so guys let's first construct the cars class and we are going to make it abstract because we might want to extend this cars class and make other game specific cars class and first we are going to make available boolean property and set it to true because initially it will be available in the in the deck and we are also going to create a face value integer which is going to hold the face value and also the shoot enum which is we are going to shortly create it and let's first make a constructor out of face value and shoot and let's also construct the method which returns the value of the card it is also specific to the class which implements this abstract class and let's return the shoot and we'll shortly make it make the class and let's also create a boolean returning is available method which is going to return the is available property and let's also make a setter and setter for making the available value to available or unavailable if this function is called then the available value will be false and if this is called then the available property will be set to true now let's construct a suit enum inside the same package and we are going to have a private integer value which is going to hold the enum value from 0 to 3 and let's create construct a constructor for this enum for those guys who did not know that enums have constructor they do in java the speed heart diamond and club these are the possible values of this suit and spade will have the integer value of of zero and heart as one diamond will be two and club will be three the club spelling is mistake let's fix it and let's also create a method which is going to be public is going to return a int value which is going to return the integer value of the speed and we also need to return the literal value such as speed or heart the over will be giving the ordinal value this will be giving the enumerated value get suit from value it is going to accept the value as integer and it is going to return the suit values its index if zero is passed then it will return spade hope it makes sense now let's construct a deck class and it will be containing the lists of cards T. it is a generic class it is going to extend the cars its type parameter will be extending cars because cars is it's not cars it's card because card is a abstract class we are going to generate the cars specific to the game 
and it is going to hold the array list of cards because deck will have multiple cards inside it and we are also going to create a dealt index which is going to help us grab out the card of specific index which has not been dealt and we need to set deck of cards which is going to be passed by some other function some other class and it is going to accept the air list of cards deck of cards and we are going to set it inside this array list I need to make that cards as type parameter and let's also construct a public void shuffling method which is going to shuffle all those cards randomly we are going to loop around all the deck of cards j is going to hold a random card index and we are going to get the card one from cards get i and card two will will get card two from j index and we are going to set each other's card in each other's index this should be cards too and we are also going to make a remaining cards method which is going to return the difference of car size and delta index which is going to give us the remaining cars number value and we also have to create a hand class which is the hand of the player the cars hold by the player it is also going to have the type parameter of card because we want to keep track of all those cards that the player his hand has new array list public score we also want to get the score that is held in his hand by the card that is holding first the score will be zero and as we loop around the each card we are going to extract the cards value which might which might be specific to the game that they're playing and we also need to return we also need to add the card in the hand of the player so we have completed constructing this hands class as you can see card is an abstract class and it has it is held by deck and also the hand of player and the card also has the enumeration of suit.